This is home away from home. Good morning, Virginia. How has your week been? Good morning, Masika. It's been a wonderful week of spreading the awesome news of Christ. Souls for Jesus. As they say it, welcome to this episode of MCC Show as we bring to you what has, what is, and what will be. You did assignment? Assignment? The evangelism week. Oh yeah. It reminded me of this analogy when you give a street kid an orange for the first day, the second day. The third, he obviously come back with his partners and it's basically what we did during the week. We went out there and told people, yo, I know a place where you can experience what you have been experiencing in Christ. After testing the goodness, mm-hmm. it's a story whose culmination will happen this evening at MPH as the various teams will converge here. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from every fear. Those who look on you are radiant. And never be ashamed. And never be ashamed. This poor man. Uh, my name is Salim Samson, evangelism coordinator. Yeah, we started evangelism by training with Sebastian Yambumbuvi. Yeah, and then the culmination of training, it was on Sunday, where the topic, the assignment, yeah, by Joseph Ibrahim. We started on Monday officially. We started our evangelism on a high note. People turned up in large numbers during crusade and during enrich. We had some, some visitors from other campuses like Loa Kabete coming to take part in enrich. We had some visitors from Kipu campus coming to take place, take part in in which yeah we thank God and we are finalizing today, Friday. Yeah, everything is going according to how God has planned to. Did you know after laughter that walking is man's best medicine? Ah, interesting. How about you come join us on the 5th of November for the Hatua Walk as we aim to raise funds to build the Focus Training Center? Yeah, you'll be getting fulfillment and medicine at the same time. That's a good one. Killing two birds with one stone, we say. I bet you don't want to miss out. Show up for the walk. It will be on 5th November 2022. Uh, beginning at 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. It will begin from Utali College to Fokasenda Kasarani. Let us walk to shape the future. Now walk to shape the future! My name is Ruth McKenna Havere. I'm a third year student at the School of Engineering pursuing electrical and electronics engineering. I'm definitely a living stone and I'm born again. What people don't know about me is that I'm a football fan and in particular I support Arsenal. Uh, the first Arsenal 11 is Ramsdale. Saliba, Gabriel, White, Tomiyasu, Shaka, Saka, Jesus, Martinelli, Patti, 
Holding, Tiani, Lokonga, and many more. <laughs> Our coach is uh, Mikel Aiteta. Mikel Aiteta was uh, actually a player in Arsenal during the times of Wenger. He was also an assistant coach to Pep Guardiola, and right now he's the coach. I love books written by African authors. Some of my favorite authors are Chino Achebe, Ngugiwa Thiongo, H.R. Olekulet, and Margaret Ogola. My favorite book is Margaret Ogola's The River and the Source. And in her words, the true destiny of a woman is to live life to the fullest and fight to the end is seen in the life of Akoko, her determination and her fearless nature. I feel like this encourages me and inspires me to be a lady that stands for what I believe in and to be um, strong in the face of adversity. Favorite verse is Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. It says, guard your heart with all diligence. From out of it springs the issues of life. chapati and chicken. I love chapos because I really love making chapos and I love kuku because I'm a lawyer so it's in the blood. Come on you gunners! The literature night is almost here. It will be the night for the Shakespeare's, the Morgan Freemans and the Abel Mutuas of this world. The Mondikos, the Hasiros, the Manasses. Local talent is matter too, right? Yeah, how could I forget that? Speaking of greats, the one Ernest Omboy will be in the house to speak about hidden knowledge. So it's time to get your plays, your poems and your narrations polished and see you on 4th November. We look forward to hearing what you have for us. The way to a man's heart is through the stomach, right? Yeah, whatever you're going through in life, eat fast, we say. Yeah, so after a week of evangelism, the new believers got together to have breakfast and share the experiences with other veterans. In case you missed, here are some of the highlights. Hello guys, uh, we are here to Fungamano. The New Believers Breakfast just ended a few minutes ago. And we're here to just get a glimpse from the people who put this together. So first up, we'll have the Navigators. My name is John Kamau. I serve with the Navigators. Uh, Navigators is a missions organization uh, where we work with churches, institutions, individuals, uh, with a sole motive of helping them develop their relationship with the Lord. Uh, we also have to uh, sit down and have a chat with the amazing discipleship coordinator, the one and only Elizabeth Hasiru. So, right into it, Elizabeth, um, what's next after the New Believers Breakfast? Well, what's next is Nacha classes. Why Nacha? Well, in Nacha class, the New Believers will get um, to know more about their faith in Christ, to know more about um, Christ through Bible study, through prayer, through quiet time in meditation. And so, yeah, that is all about nature. We also get to have a chat with a new believer and get to hear from his uh, point of view what uh, he all learned about the New Believers Breakfast. Maybe we could start with your name kindly. Yeah, my name is Fabian Agrio Chien and uh, I'm a freshman in this university of Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah. So Agri, how did you get to hear about the New Believers Breakfast? 
I get to hear about this 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 breakfast through the one of the evangelists who came to, into my room uh, in, in one evening and told me and informed me about the about the breakfast in Bilbao. So when you came here, definitely you had some expectations in mind. Were they met? Yeah, they were met because uh, of, uh, of course I, I I expected to for us to share the word of God and share the breakfast together. So they were met. They were met. So lastly, as we wrap it up. Uh, What's the one takeaway you took from this new believers breakfast? My okay, my assumption is that uh, it is it is good, it is good to share and uh, share the word of God, and uh, it is good to share what we have together as, as believers. So all that uh, I took from it, yeah. And that's enough. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. Till next time, folks. Peace. Peace.